Welcome to Influential Entrepreneurs, bringing you interviews with elite business leaders and experts, sharing tips and strategies for elevating your business to the next level. Here's your host, Mike Saunders. Hello and welcome to this episode of Influential Entrepreneurs. This is Mike Saunders, the Authority Positioning Coach. Today we have with us Dr. Virginia LeBlanc, the Pivot Maestro, talking about next steps for vets. Doc V, welcome back to the program. Thanks, Mike. So excited to be back. Yeah, it's been really neat talking with you in this series um, because it's really relevant and really um, impactful of how you work with military veterans, helping them to transition in a lot of their areas of, of their career, you know, transition, you know, pivoting maybe in something within their career. And then as they transition to civilian life, there's a lot more than just punching the clock and, and you know, saluting and saying, see ya. Um, there's a lot that goes into that. So we've been learning a lot there. There. But now we want to talk about your program, Next Steps for Vets. So bring us up to speed on that, and, and what is that all about? Yes, Mike, thanks so much. So Next Steps for Vets is a program unlike anything that presently exists in the military construct or in the civilian construct. And it's all about addressing the holistic health and wellness of our women and men who have served, who are in service, who are out of service, who are just trying to put it together, you know, trying to connect the dots in life, you know, and in their career transition. So what a lot of people don't understand or realize or, or process, even if they, they know about it, is the fact that to be successful in a career, to find a fulfilling career and opportunity, and to be able to connect the dots, you have to deal with the person first. Yeah. And so that's what we do, and that's where, we're, where we start in our Next Steps for Vets program. And we'll have mixed gender programs, we'll have programs specifically uh, focused on women, um, and it's just going to be holistic in healing, helping them to rebuild, um, in instruction. Um, we'll even have retreat opportunities. Uh, I could say we'll be retreating to rebuild and to then advance. So, <laughs> to nice. use the military term. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Well, it's it's interesting when you were saying that. It makes me think of something. And you know, from our um, conversations, that's how we roll. Is you know, we'll just kind of play off of each other and go, "Ooh, that makes me think of." And this, and here comes these wonderful nuggets of knowledge. Well, what you what you just talk about with kind of breaking down and rebuilding. Am I, I'm not a military man. I never uh, served in the military, but from what I understand, when you go into any branch of the military and go through the, the version of basic training to kind of get acclimated to military life, isn't it true that they literally have the goal of breaking you down to nothing so that you're not who you were when you came in so that they can rebuild you into what you need to be for the military? Well, if that's the case, now when you transition out into civilian life, is that what is you that now are talking about breaking down and rebuilding into what you need to be personally? So what is that juxtaposition like? Yeah, it's interesting, Mike, that you brought that up because you know when you when you say breaking down, that can have both negative and positive con yeah. connotations depending on how you look at it and yeah. your perspective. Well, it, it, the process of going through boot camp, of course, what you said is exactly um, you know that's that's what's happening, mm -hmm. but it's happening to create a single unit, um, yes. a uniformity, a discipline um, that is needed for service yeah. um, to establish a chain of command and understanding um, and how to operate within that chain of command. So it really, you know, it depends on the person also to the level that they're broken down in maintaining, um, you know, and their background of where they're coming from uh, in maintaining their person, who they are, the true you, as I like to say. And unfortunately, a lot of people lose that in that process. So what we're doing with defining path, we're defining paths. We're helping them rediscover through the next steps for vets program, or if they never knew, help them to yeah. discover. Who the well, it's like you said. Um, you know, there's positive and negative connotations, and the breaking down for basic for the purpose of uh, the unit and the you, you, uniformity in the military. That's a good thing because you know what? Um, if you have soldiers for in any branch of the military that are not conforming to that, you've got a big mess when it comes 
comes time to execute on missions. So that is needed and there is zero wrong with that. But guess what? When it comes down to now, when you're at the end of your service and you're transitioning out, is that uh, mindset person that you have become what you need to take out into the civilian life? Sometimes yes, sometimes no, and sometimes it's a hybrid. So I love what yeah. you're doing with the next steps and starting with you, the true you, because the true you is there. And you know what? If you could wave a magic wand and and articulate and, uh, um, you know, paint a picture of the true you pre-military and the true you when you're transitioning out, it would look different. But those some of those core foundational things are still there. Exactly. And with the re- with the breaking down that we're doing in Next Steps or Vets, where we start the breaking down is mental. It's in the mindset. It's helping them think without a box, as I like to yeah. say, and as we talked about in the last episode. So that's the breaking down part, but also breaking down some of the walls and defenses that they've had to put up for survival, yeah. for, uh, you know, um, whether in, in actual combat or just in general traversing um, their career as military personnel. So, because they needed certain skills for life or death many times. Exactly. But now in civilian life, maybe it's not literal life and death. It's just winning in, you know, your career or winning in. So it's it's the same basic things and lessons, but it's different applications, I would suspect. Exactly. And then also, the way they will be viewed as in civilian life, um, you know, it is, is very different than what they've experienced in military life. Sure. Um, you know, a lot of individuals have difficulty uh, when they come out and, you know, they're, they're highly ranked in, in the military and then they come out to civilian life and it, it's, you know, you'll get thank you for your service, but, you know, it's, it's a different it's a different um, set of eyes on them or perspective um, and, uh, and and just perhaps the respect or, or the acknowledgement or what have you that they expected or, or that they received while in uniform is it's it's a whole different ball game and a lot of people have difficulty managing that uh, mm-hmm. adapting to that and overcoming so you know what we're trying to do is trying to help enlighten them um bring that positive energy um that healing energy help to empower them help to stand them up and support them through their entire journey because this for me um I'm literally dedicating a whole an entire part of my company to uh, the military and veterans. And so for me, this is a lifetime commitment. This is not something I'm just putting together one day and, you know, and leaving. But I'm making a commitment, um, you know, to stick with uh, the folks who come into the Defining Past community and help them achieve, you know, their dreams and set up their own personal legacy. Yeah. Well, in your next steps for vets, I love the subtitle or the uh, the second part of that, which is be your own boss when the uniform comes off. What is that uh, all about? Yes, I tell you, that was that was that was so divinely inspired. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, the best kind. Yes. So, you know, what it's all about, be your own boss. Um, You know, a lot of minds immediately go to uh, the entrepreneurial journey, which that is a part of it for those who are interested in that that destination or that journey. But I started thinking about, again, just the holistic person, you know, and the lack of control that a lot of uh, individuals feel while in the service sector. And... You know, it's more than just being your own boss, owning your own company. Um, it's about, to me, and your uh, the word boss and the word uniform has both a physical and a mental um, connotation or, oh. or uh, to deal with. You know, uniform, like you mentioned the word earlier, uniformity. You know, y- uniformity and thinking keeps you in the status quo. It keeps yeah. you in a silo. In a box. Um, in a box. And the boss piece, you know, once you can break out of that, you can be your own boss mentally and physically. Whatever you choose, you can define your path and wield your own destiny. Okay, so I've got a pop quiz, and if you don't pass it, that's fine, but maybe then this will be another divine uh, idea. Be your own boss, B-O-S-S. Do you have words for the letters B and then O and then S and then S? 
Well, you just gave me the idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then, then for real, um, if you ha- if you want to be your own boss, and that could be capital B period capital O period capital S period capital S period. What would those B O S? So I I love when you can think about you know like what you're saying here. It has you know different connotations and boss. I, you know I'll challenge you to do that. But uniform, uniform could also mean if I'm hearing you correctly, a mask. Right, your uniform. Yes. You are in that. You but that mask is your identity. And is that the identity you want to take? And so I I don't know about your course, but is that kind of a, a, an element of that? It is without question. And if you look at my book launch and what have you from like my first book, Love the Skin You're In, How to Conquer Life Through Divergent Thinking, um, and even at that launch, I have masks. Well, part of my heritage is also Creole, so, you know, Louisiana Creole. So I have masks all over my house as well. (laughs) But yes. Exactly. It reminds me, and it is, it's tied to that because we often wear a mask. And I talk about this in my first book. We wear these masks, um, you know, to to mask our feelings, to mask social expectations, um, to mask, um, you know, who we are. And so, yes, I, exactly. You, you're pretty smart, Mike. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, I, I, I accept that, but it's, it really... I love when you're kind of on the same wavelength with someone and it's like, funny you should say that because, you know, and, and it really is cool. You know, being your own boss, when the uniform comes off, it, it's got a flow to it. It's got a cadence to it. And, and I would suspect that we could talk for three and a half more hours on that one aspect. So let's, uh, let's jump into another aspect, which is you mentioned your programs will have a uh, focus on sometimes men, sometimes women, sometimes both. Um, but what is what is your uh, um, kind of, I don't know, topic of the Grace Under Pressure for Women all about? Yes, thank you for asking. You know, this is a project that is very near and dear to my heart. The entire Next Steps for Vets program is, of course. Um, but Grace Under Pressure for Women in Service is a truly um, – it's going to change lives, Mike. It's going to heal women, um, whether they're in uniform or they're out of uniform at this point, in ways uh, that will just be, uh, you know, that will radiate through their lives, that will change and transform their life, their family life, their, their relationship dynamics. Because women in service, whether, you know, the world wants to admit it or not, um, we deal with prejudice. We deal with discrimination um, in the workplace. It's a real thing, and it's a hostile work environment. So, you know, once you take off the rose-colored glasses, once you really get down to brass tacks and having candid conversations, you know, the harsh reality of life is that this affects personal relationships. It affects mental and physical health. You know, I myself returned from foreign service early, you know, to deal with exactly those things. Um, and and you know, so and, let me let me um, give you, give a point here right at that moment before you continue yeah. on. And let's see if it's if it's an aspect of your teaching. Um, it would be wonderful if we could wave a magic wand and have those biases, if that's even a word, but those biases um, changed. And like all of a sudden now women are treated. We get all that right. We wish that would change. But maybe. Um, until that happens, because hopefully there's progress being made, you know, chipping away, chipping away. But until that happens, if you are a female veteran, transit, all of those things coming through this workshop, now let's just recognize that it's there and let's recognize what you can do about it because there are, and do about it for, for the whole to change it. Sure. If you can work toward that, that's great. And maybe you're going to take that slow change, but sometimes that doing is internally to you how you can go okay it is what it is so now because it is what it is here's how i need to move forward while at the same time hoping and working toward the overall change but how do you advise um women to recognize that it's a known problem we're hoping that and working toward change but in the meantime here's what you can do about it yes so grace under pressure will be a safe haven for women and, you know, it's an opt-in. It's a choose 
choose to be a part of this or choose not to be a part of this. And we're putting together resources. I'm working with uh, one of my dear friends and colleagues who actually founded Grace Under Pressure, but she found it for cancer moms who had lost their children. Um, her name is Laura Lane. And so she is a, um, a practitioner of the ancient martial art called Qigong. And so she will be doing, and that Art helps to, it, it helps with mindset, it helps with focusing, centering, um, you know, going inward to then release and let things outward. And so, and then she, she has affirmations attached to that. Mm-hmm. So then she and I have partnered, I was like, when we were talking about it, I was like, oh my God, Laura, this is perfect for my vet community and my, you know, my service-based community. So... I came alongside and developed the, 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 the personal development piece, the self-development piece, taking those affirmations, taking the concepts and experiences of women um, in service and attaching that to the affirmations, creating, rolling out, you know, a, um, a program of study, of reflection, uh, of community hmm. um, for the women and kind of the next steps to uh, from the lessons learned and the healing and application to real life. Um, and then just we're just going to walk together in this journey and walk yeah. this thing out. So um, it'll roll out into um, a full-blown program here next year. And, and you know, what you just said right there makes me think of this. It's not like, come to me because I am the guru of all gurus and I've got it all figured out and now I'm going to impart to you this – Sometimes it's like, you know what? I'm like a half a step ahead of you. Let's let's do this thing together and let's learn together. And I've got some tips I've learned. And guess what? I'll probably learn some tips from you as well. And I think that kind of a community is so engaging, warm, and welcoming. And you learn together, you grow together. Yes. Absolutely, Mike. And while it's focused and centered on women in service, there will also be civilian women who have uh, who have come out, um, who are in service, um, mm-hmm. but who have the knowledge and the expertise yeah. to help them. Like been know, there, done that. Rebuild and transform. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you know, just a community of mutual respect and understanding yeah. and acceptance um, is what we're building. What we're standing up. Well, I think like what you said, this is going to change lives. And the word transformation came to my mind because it's like, you know what? Um, And and I forget whether we've touched on this before, but there's a name for this in the psychology world. But it always uh, uh, reminds me of you don't know what you don't know. Right. So and and then there's all those steps like, well, um, you know, if you don't know what you don't know, then the next step is. But in reality, if you think about it. Here are some, and we're talking about uh, women uh, transitioning out of the military veterans. So they don't know what they're going to face the next step and the step after that and the step after that. So they don't even know what that is. If they had a blueprint checklist in front of them, now it's like, oh, my word, that's overwhelming because, yikes, I had no idea. Well, if you have someone that, or a group of people that can come alongside you to go, let me just t- give you a little whisper in your ear here. Um, you're going to be feeling this and then experiencing that, and it's okay. You know, it's normal. Here's what you can do. We're here for you. I just think that that is such a huge um, word that someone needs to hear right now and reach out to you guys, and I think I applaud you for what you're putting together. Thank you so much, Mike, and you are exactly right. We do have the blueprint, and playing a little pun on BYOB, so that's yep. actually be your own boss. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're going we're gonna to walk through uh, with this community. Uh, we're going to hold our hands. We're going to help them stand up. You know, I have been very blessed and fortunate to be a part of a number of, com- uh, well, several communities um, that are all about, um, you know, just serving and supporting. Um, and it's all about love, Mike. That's what we need more of in the world. You know, the world is hurting right now, and there's just yeah. so much division. And it's 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 really sad. And uh, we want to make a change. And this is a global movement, I should say. So we're starting right here in the U.S., um, but this is a global movement. You know, half my team actually is in the U.K. And so we're going to be partnering with uh, folks over there and just all around the world. And just you are the first to know, I've just been awarded a show host spot on the Win Win Women's Network. So I will be. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to change the world. Um, awesome. You know, one one that. person at a time and, yes. and changing lives. That's so great. So um, what's the next step? If someone is listening to this going, I need to learn more. I need to be part of this movement. How do they learn more? Yes. Please come check out our new online home. 
at definingpaths.online. So we've dropped the info for our online presence. It's definingpaths.online. Um, it's a magnificent site that uh, my online business manager has established. Or connect, And you can connect to all of our social media platforms there, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, but my moniker for all of those is Doc V Next Steps Coach. Awesome. Well, Doc V, as always, it is a pleasure and privilege to chat with you and to kind of watch what you're doing out there. And um, I will be excited to see results as things move forward. So uh, best of success to you. And thank you for coming on today. Thank you so much, Mike. And it's been my absolute joy and pleasure. You've been listening to Influential Entrepreneurs with Mike Saunders. To learn more about the resources mentioned on today's show or listen to past episodes, visit www.influentialentrepreneursradio.com.